Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the DigitalOcean API with Python. Now, I figured the best way to start this tutorial and make sure we're all on the same page is to do some interactions with the API uh, directly on the command line. So let's, let's start with that. And right here, you'll see that um, I, in the background, I have my DigitalOcean dashboard. I don't have any droplets here. And um, the goal with this tutorial is to, um, with Python and on the command line, create a droplet and get that droplet's IP address. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Um, we the <clears throat> I guess the quick and easy way to interact with the DigitalOcean API is with the curl command. So I'm going to copy and paste a huge blob here, um, but we'll go through it just to make sure we all understand what this is. So this is the curl command that allows you to make uh, internet requests, post requests, get requests to URLs on the internet. So we're calling the curl command. We're going to make a post request and we're giving it a header. Okay. And between here and here is the header content. So uh, there's a couple entries in here. The content type is JSON. Um, oh, and I got that slightly wrong. There's, we're actually giving it two separate header arguments. So that's one. And then the other one is authorization bear. And this is right here. This is my digital ocean API key. I'm going to assume that you already have your API key. I'm not going to go through the process of getting that here. Uh, but that's what that is for me. And then dash D for data, everything between here and here is the data that we're going to send, um, this request along with this request. Um, so that data looks like it's just name value pairs. So the name of the drop that I want to create, it's hello from terminal. The region that I want to create it in is New York city, the third data center. Um, the size is going to be one CPU core and one gigabyte of Ram. I'm going to create it with a WordPress image, uh, version 20.04. Um, and then all of these are just, uh, do I want backups? No. Do I want IP version six capabilities? No. There's no user data, none of that stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna give it a tag called, uh, in this case, WP theme. This can be anything that you want. So that's all the data. And then finally, the URL that we are making the request to. And this, again, this is all in the API documentation, but the URL is api.digitalocean.com slash v2 uh, slash droplets because we want to create a droplet. So when we execute this command, it's gonna, access the API and send us a response. And you can see here in the background that uh, this has programmatically via the command that we just executed started to create the droplet. And we can watch this progress uh, move along here. Now the thing is when a droplet's created, the IP address is not immediately known. Okay, so we have to, when, when we do it in a script, we're gonna have to programmatically wait, but when we're doing it here, we just have to wait for this, fin this install um, to happen in order to get that, that IP address. So um, similarly, we can do, use the curl command and now you can see the IP address is up here. Um, it's done booting and loading and all that stuff. So we can similarly use the curl command. Whoops, I forgot the beginning C. So we can use the curl command. This time we will give it, uh, we will make a get request and we um, give it the same header. So we're gonna be, uh, the content type is JSON and here is our API key. And finally, down here, the URL that we are sending it to, um, the same URL slash the ID of the droplet that we just created, because we need to know, we need to tell the API what droplet we're talking about. So where did I get this? Um, and this is probably actually wrong because we have to change it. This is just uh, what I copied from before. So we want to put the, the droplet ID, and that is in the response of the original request that we made. So up here, you'll see that the droplet ID for this droplet here in the background is right here, 22793 So let's copy that and paste it down here. So that is a complete API URL right here. Now, if we hit enter, we're gonna get back another response. And this this seems crazy like to, to read through this for a human, and it is, but um, when we use Python in just a couple seconds, you'll see, um, how easy it is to deconstruct this. So anyway, we can look through here really quick. We see the networks um, group here 
and then here is the private IP address and then the public IP address is here. So the IP address right here, 104.236.29.93 matches up with what we have back here in the DigitalOcean dashboard. Okay, so that's all fine and dandy, but let's go ahead and see how this works in Python. So um, what I'm gonna do, I have Python version, whoops, Python, PYT, Python version 3.8.5. Um, a modern version of Python would be best to use in this case. So let's just start out on the uh, on the Python terminal command line here. So I'm just gonna type Python and now every command that we enter in here is a Python command. So um, what we wanna do is import a few things. So let's import um, time, import time. We're gonna import glob and I'll explain these all. Import requests. And I think that's all we need for now. So we're gonna import those packages and now I'm gonna define my API key into a variable. So let me just copy and paste that for uh, to make it easier on ourselves. I wanna make sure I got the full key here. So, so here's the API key and you'll put your API key here and then the URL. So like we were working with up above, the URL of the um, that we're gonna be working with of the API. Now, we can define a, a Python dictionary called headers. And what that's gonna be is, um, I think instead of watching me type, I'll, I will do copy and paste here. So the headers is going to be a dictionary, a Python dictionary. Um, it's a key value pair, so authorization, just like we saw up above, the bearer, and then the name of our API key. So we're just gonna reference that variable that we assigned up here and our headers looks like this, okay? And then um, our data. So, and again, just instead of typing this, I think it's easier to explain when I paste it in. So a data, again, that's a dictionary. It's a series of key value pairs. So <clears throat> this time, our, pretty much everything in here is the same as up above. The region's the same, the size is the same, the image is the same. We're gonna be doing WordPress version 20.04, uh, but the only difference here is the name. So instead of hello from terminal, this time we're gonna call our droplet hello from Python. So that is our data object, our data variable. And now if you're not familiar with the requests library, we're gonna use the request library to make a, a request to the API. So what that's gonna look like is, um, the, re the, the return value of the request is the, re is the response, so that's gonna be the output. So we're gonna call requests.post, like we did up above with the post request. The URL, which we saw up here is this, comma, data equals data. Okay, so we define our data object, and then headers equals headers. So we're basically making a request to this URL with this data in, in these headers. So when we hit enter, look in the background, you'll see um, that has been now, it's starting to be created, hello from Python. And this is the point where um, we wanna look at the response, okay? We wanna, kinda like we did up above, we visually looked at that big blob of text that it sent back to us. We wanna look at the response and get the ID of the droplet. So the droplet ID, we can, well, let's, let's just first print out the response as JSON. So if we do response.json, we can see kind of like above a whole bunch of mess on the screen here, but we can index into the JSON response um, with the, the dictionary indexing syntax. So we can do response um, and we're gonna look for the droplet uh, grouping and whoops, droplet. And that's gonna, it doesn't look like much, but it's gonna, index into that droplet grouping, and then inside of there, we want the ID of the droplet. So, and that'll just give us back the ID of this newly created droplet. So we can actually give that, um, assign that to a variable. So droplet ID equals that. So right now our droplet ID is the actual ID of the droplet. So we have that variable. And um, typically, at the, typically at this point, I would say if this is in a script, we would do time.sleep for like, you know, 60 seconds or something like that, um, just so the script halts execution for that amount of time. But just for the sake of demonstration here, we'll sleep the script for five seconds in case you're not familiar with that command. Um, and, then, and then finally, we wanna make that second request to the API 
in order to get the IP address. So now that we know the droplet ID, we can do that similarly with the request command. It's not a command, the, the request function. So let's build the droplet URL. So the droplet URL, the API URL, is going to be essentially um, something like this, format URL comma droplet URL. So basically all this is doing is concatenating with a slash in between the URL from up above and the droplet URL. So that's gonna look like uh, droplet URL. Um, what did I do wrong here? Oh, it's droplet ID, sorry. Okay, so our droplet URL is the DigitalOcean API version two droplets and then the ID of our droplet. And then uh, let's make the request. So we can do, um, just to keep it unique, droplet response equals requests dot get. We're gonna use the get instead of post request, um, the droplet URL and then headers equals headers. So this time, um, headers, this time there is no data. We're just gonna pass the, the same header that we used before and we'll hit enter. It's gonna do its thing. And now we got the response droplet. Let's take a look at that droplet. I called it droplet respond um, dot JSON. It's gonna be a big blob, but like we did before, we can index into that. So we'll look at the droplet itself and inside the networks um, grouping, uh, we pull this out, right? And then there's a public and a private. So we wanna only look at the uh, IP address for the public one. So that's v4 and then we're looking like we have a list at this point. So we have a list of IP addresses and it looks like the first one is private and the second one is public. So um, Python is zero based indexing. So we want the, instead of not, not zero, we want one. And then that'll pull out the public IP address grouping. And then we only want uh, IP address from that. So you see how we're kind of just indexing, whoops, uh, IP address, uh, not ID, IP. Okay, so you see kind of how we just indexed all the way down through that big mess of JSON response and we pulled out the droplet inside the networks inside IPv4. We got the public one and we're getting the actual IP address. So that's kind of how you use the uh, DigitalOcean API to get, not only create the droplet, but get the IP address associated with it. So if we want to make this into a script, a Python script, let's do, um, let's just call it example.py. I'm gonna copy and paste all of this from my cheat sheet over here. When we put it all together, it'll look something like this. So we're importing our, um, our packages, we define our API key, we define the API URL, and then we have our headers that we're gonna reuse between every request. We define our data to create our droplet. We make the request, we get a response, and from the response, we pull out the droplet ID. We wait for about a minute, this could be plus or minus 30 seconds, and then we make another request based on the droplet ID to get the IP address of the droplet. So that's everything all together. Um, I'll have all of this in a blog post, which is linked in the description below. So if you wanna check that out, feel free to do so. If you got any value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps with my channel. Uh, please subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.